What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets, back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. And in today's episode, we are going to be checking out some gameplay with our new Patrick Ewing card. So looking at his stats, he's got some monstrous defense with an 88 with the boost from the two-way lineup. Uh, also got 70, 70 speed, which is pretty good for a center. 76 shooting, which is pretty solid. All the other ones are relatively average to below average, but I'm excited to see some of his post moves. And I know that his rebounding is absolutely monstrous. Uh, done a pretty good amount of gameplay with him so far, and he gets so many boards. I'm going to put that Magic Johnson card in real quick just because he's a better passer, so he will have an easier time getting the ball to Patrick Ewing. So we will head on over to our league. As you can see, we are all the way filled up, 32 members. Uh, we just added a guy that has 44 million fans, so that helped us out a bunch. So we're at 201 million, so not quite at the top of the leaderboards yet, but hopefully we'll be getting close. And I believe later today they are going to be announcing the release of League vs. League in Cornell's final courtside video, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's see, I know there was one guy that said he wanted to wanted me to play him uh, whenever I did my next video. Let's see, oh, this is, I don't even know, KD for, oh, KD for Golden State Warriors. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, so I can do that. Patrick Ewing's going to have a pretty easy time against Andre Drummond, I would imagine. So really the only challenge is going to be getting around Russell Westbrook, which shouldn't be that hard. Uh, so mainly going to be looking at post moves, maybe maybe a little bit in the mid-range section, but for the most part, we know what we're... Oh, wow, that was great pass to start off, Bobby. <laughs> okay, so uh, he tips it out, out of bounds. That was just a poorly timed inbound pass. Uh, so let's see if we can get the ball into him in the post. Oh, and we get blocked on the first play. All right, solid. Uh, I thought he was going to do more of a post move than a... Uh, Whatever the heck that was, but that's all right. We should be able to get the ball back. Come on, Magic. Take the ball from him. And that's illegal. Oh, get that. Where's Ewing? There he is. Go dunk on him, Ewing. Oh, there we go. All right, a pretty good start uh, after that atrocious first play, a monstrous dunk off the fast break. So it looks like he's going to be pretty reliable on fast breaks. Come on, take the ball from him. Obviously, this is 95 Westbrook, so it's going to be pretty tough to take the ball from him. I'm not sure why he's just, like, dribbling in circles right now. And he misses because Ewing gets a stop, but he gets the board. I don't know why. All right, come on, give the ball to Magic. Let's see if we can get some post action in. Okay, let's see a little... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I thought he was going to do a post move, and then he just did a turnaround jump shot... And I don't know why it always is incredibly difficult to time those shots. Um, but, oh, we get a block right there, even though it wasn't, like, blocked, blocked. It was still blocked. And, oh, my gosh, we just got, hey, let's see, mid-range jumper? Okay, nope. Maybe maybe not going to do mid-range jumpers with Patrick Ewing. <laughs> um, kind of figured that was going to happen, but, you know, you always got to get give the mid-range a try. And... Come on, get the board. Somebody, you're killing me. All right, not off to a good start. We're losing 2-4 to four, uh, against a team that's not very good. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go, just dunk on him. That's honestly, we're just going to run around until we can dunk on him on every possession because <laughs> uh, it looks like that's going to be the extent of, at least the extent of my abilities to play with him. Where's he at? Where's he at? Patrick. Oh, that's Jay. What? Are you kidding me? He was so open. How did he miss that? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh, block that. Oh, that's blocked. Yeah, that's right. Get that out. Okay. Not sure how Jalen Rose missed that. So, not a great first quarter. Only scored four points. Um, if you guys want to drop some gameplay tips for playing with a center down below, I would really appreciate that because honestly... I just straight up don't know how to play with a center. I'm just not good at it. I don't know why. Probably because it is so much different from playing with like a shooting guard or a small forward. So we're going to go ahead and play against this lineup. Hopefully we can do a little bit better. Uh, so we'll throw the ball in. 
Hopefully, we also have a better time with our post entry. There we go. Come on, back him down. There we go. There we go. What? How did he miss that? Oh, my gosh. That should have been so easy. Take the ball from him. Can he get a steal? Get the steal. Come on. Take the ball. Take it. Take it. Stop him. If that goes in. Yeah, there we go. Where is Patrick? Patrick, where are you? Patrick. Oh, didn't mean to shoot the mid-range, but it goes in anyway. All right. I did not expect to make that. That was actually extremely surprising to me considering how well contested he was and considering I didn't make the last one because of low rating. Um, and then Anthony Davis, of course, hits the mid-range jumper on us. His signature shot. Oh, come on, Patrick. Down the lane. Yep, I should have known that was going to happen. Uh, rule of... Rule of thumb, don't try to dribble down the lane with your center. The ball will get stolen 100% of the time. Oh, come on. Somebody block him. All right. Uh, we've got him trailing this time, so we're going to let him get up the court real quick. And nope. Stop. You don't get the ball up at the top. Uh, all right. I accidentally shot a mid-range jumper, but it still worked. So it looks like his... As long as you're halfway to the basket, I guess, from the three-point line, his mid-range jumper is going to go in. Ooh, and the block right there. So he is, we're seeing his solid defense right now. Uh, not really seeing a whole lot of anything else. You know what? We're going to go for the alley-oop right now. Patrick, go to the basket. Oh, and what, 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 what was that? That was the worst alley-oop pass I've ever seen. Um, okay, that was not good. Obviously, my... Center gameplay videos are always very cringe. Pick up the ball. What are you doing? Pick. Mm. And then I get dunked on. That's good. Even though it said I got the block. That's all right. Okay. Whatever you say. All right, Patrick. Cut to the basket. We got to finish this video off with an alley-oop. Go to the basket, Patrick. Patrick, quit standing around. Oh, my gosh. Go to the basket. <laughs> Go to the basket. I'm going to have to shoot a three with Magic Johnson. Oh, my gosh. That was terrible. Patrick, why do you just stand in one place the entire time? Okay. Well, that was some pretty atrocious gameplay. Um, looks like Patrick Ewing is not going to be one of the players that I'm going to be going for for scoring a lot. But he's definitely a really solid rebounder, really solid defender. So I would recommend him if you have somebody else in your... Uh, center lineup that's a little bit lower rating so I believe before I had the 87 Amari Stoudemire who's going to be a little bit better offensively but honestly I can't remember the last time I used him for anything except for rebounding and putbacks so I would definitely recommend picking him up prices are going down on his collectibles but that's going to be about it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to comment like and subscribe if you did and I will see you guys next time